That's my guy right there. Oh, I love that game. I love beating that team. I love the fact that he was the catalyst for it. That was awesome. I was so scared, though, that entire game. Like, I was never comfortable. I wasn't comfortable up 26. I wasn't comfortable up 15. I wasn't comfortable up 20. I wasn't comfortable up. I think I got the only time I got a little bit of like, oh, my God, finally, they're going to close this out. Was when Max Strews hit that big balls three and put him up four, which had to feel good for Max Strews. Yep. Um, I think one of the craziest things about that is is that when you when you play with a when you play against a team and you get a big lead against them, all you can remember is what you've done to other teams. So if you had a 39 and 14 quarter, 39 to 14 quarter. You thinking, ooh, I hope they don't do that to us the mm-hmm. whole game. Right? And so I think that's if you hadn't seen it, you wouldn't think that way. But because you saw that 39 to 14 quarter, you're like, they could get us. So you're always on the edge of your seat. Um that's just, I mean, that's just part of the you know, the, the feelings of watching the game. You it know? was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was, it was a wild night, but it was fun to come and club them on the head. Cause you have a, like you, you get smoked in your building and that building was, oh, just, it was hell by the end of it. You had like 300 Celtics fans just sticking around afterwards. They're all chanting for people while I'm doing the post game show. And I told, <laughs> I told, uh, Jason Jackson, I said, Jay, I said, I had to do a rejoin. To Jax, the Heat fans have left the building, and this is my hell. I do remember <laughs> that, actually. Yeah, I don't know if that's appropriate to say on a broadcast. It's kind of just throwing it out there. He seemed to like it. Yeah, and, like well, come and, on. Look who you're talking to. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was just like, yeah, I don't know if that's if that's uh, supposed to fly in an NBA bro. That's how I was feeling, though. It was, it was terrible. And then to come out there and outscore them in that first quarter, 39 39- to 18, I mean, come on, dude. That was awesome. Yep. But, As- did, hey, wait. Now, we're all basketball fans, and we know how basketball works. When they had that big quarter, were you not thinking, oh, this is too soon. They got way too much I hate time that. Yeah. I, I hate that. I hate that. Because like, like, it's, no. it's, it's only – you're never going to have a quarter better than that. It's only going to go downhill no, from right. that. It makes me so nervous. Right. But it, I, I actually was like, you know, I was pretty pleased with how the next quarter. Goes. This thing has been funny with the quarters, though, because like everybody is talking about this. This is this series comes down to two quarters. I mean, I'm like, well, all right, but the, like if you have two of the worst quarters ever, learn math, right? Like, what are we talking about here? Right. Oh, this, it's not like the Heat about scored them by one <laughs> in right. these quarters. They've blown them out by twenty five and twenty one. Right. Like. Oh, well, they've only won two. Yeah, okay, but they've been the most lopsided quarters of all time. Like, don't forget to leave that one out of the notes. And I mean, I'm th- this series has made me miss Eric Eric Reed and John Crotty so much. I just so much. I th- these this national TV broadcast, ooh, because it was my first time experiencing it. Brutal. It is. Br- I mean, this this ESPN. My God, I mean, it might as well it might as well be hey, called ESPN the Murph. Did anybody else? The way they were commenting on um, old boy's ankle, on Marcus Smart's ankle, did you not think he was going to get life flighted to the local hospital and have oh surgery? Oh yeah, I thought they would. Have, yeah, sure. I thought they had to amputate it. The way it was, yeah. it's like they've never seen an, a, a, and then, an ankle. And then, hold on, like I know this happens because it's happened where you know you you tweak something mm-hmm. And it feels like the worst, and you start reacting before you realize that it's really not that hurt. But that performance he put on on the floor, right? Tatum? No, no. Or smart. Smart. Yeah. That performance where, you know, everybody had to get the close up, I, it wasn't as bad as we thought because he didn't cuss, right? Dude, it, it was, it was, it was so. And, I'm going to leave here. I'm going to play this up. And, and then, then I, wait, I'm, and then what was the thing with them showing them in the hallway and right. getting the fans going? It was Dude, like, oh. I'm like, uh, uh, hey, I'm sorry. Who's the director of this game? James Cameron? Like, how? <laughs> yeah, what are all these yeah. angles that I have coming out of the tunnel? 
<laughs> like, is this Rudy? They played the music. Dun, dun. Yeah, like it was. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I I watched that and I, I I tweeted something out, and it got Celtics fans very mad. Oh, do I have them in their feelings? All right, and I was in my Twitter bag on on uh, on Saturday night. Hey, I really was. You see, idiots. They fall for it. I they, used to they fall re- for it. They I used are to idiots. Fall for it, but now I'm a professional. Now I'm a professional of the silly sauce. Hey, you, you know when it's coming. This uh this got hold on let me get the total up right now it's up to thirteen hundred retweets and eighty six hundred likes and I had to mute the conversation because I, I was sick of getting Boston fans crying I was like all right enough tears for this week uh and I just tweeted out I said ESPN so in the bag for Boston they fawned over two fake Celtics injuries longer than Jimmy Butler being out all half that's truly how I felt because it's like Jimmy Butler we, is w- wait I I went during halftime. I went and, you know, tried to, you know, you try to get your, yourself situated for the second half, right? So I'm just, you know, getting get my stuff together, refilling my drink or whatever, right? I didn't even realize he was out. Right. They didn't even like him. Like, mention it. I was like, yeah. Hey, uh, where's Jimmy? Oh, looks here like Victor Oladipo's out. Oh, well. Right. It's like, that's how they've treated every, they treated that with a Kyle Lowry injury. Yeah. PJ Tucker goes out. If Jimmy Butler's out, oh, whatever. Now, they made a bigger deal when P.J. Tucker went out. Just about, oh, he's a hard, oh, you need that guy. Like, they really, but, but like, when Jimmy is like, oh, oh, uh, as player on the- Jimmy Butler will not return. Back to you. Back to you. Like, oh, it. okay, we'll never, we'll never. And then the only time they mentioned it, Mark Jackson, he's just like, well, you got to wonder if Jimmy's telling his body not now and is going to come out. No, Mark, you guys said he was out. He's not. He's not faking it like these wait, two are. Wait, yeah. So are we? Were we waiting for the tunnel shot? Right, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> the no, tunnel well, shot. Hey, give us. A, hey, we want our intro too. It's, it's like, like, was I at a basketball game or an intro to a heavyweight championship? Box? Marcus Marcus Smart is an A one show pony, and that ah! injury was so exaggerated. Let me tell you the no, 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 no. That injury was so exaggerated. It was so obvious he was coming back for the cheap pop. Hold on. And Hold on. was waiting to hit that three now, just so he get. Oh, what a warrior Marcus I, Smart is! I'm not gonna do that, but faker. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. When his ankle laid flat on the ground, we all thought it was over. I've seen LeBron you do it a hundred times. You seen it a hundred times. LeBron bounces back from that ten times out of ten. Big Hold deal. On. Marcus Smart ain't LeBron. Whatever, dude. It, it was uh, he. Had, now, you know what? Had, you know the, you the know, theatrics. It, wait, the theat. Look, I I felt like I was watching the Nixon Willis Reed. You want to know what Mark? You want you want to know what Marcus Smart had? Loose shoes. That's what he had. All right, it wasn't even his ankle. <laughs> Tie your shoes tighter, dude. Get <laughs> the hell out of here. He didn't get taped. No. Get out of here. Come on. That was all. That was that was like the Royal Rumble. It was it was so fugazi. Uh, and they're like, yeah. oh. Uh, and dude, did you see afterwards the graphics that they put up? This was unbelievable. They go afterwards and ESPN goes, Heat beat Celtics after severe looking injuries to Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum. Are we doing almost injuries? Right. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> severe looking? What the hell is that? Let's call a tweak. He tweaked yeah. his ankle. Walk like, it are off. You, dude, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> oh, the, the the Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum came back. Yeah, and you guys had a, had the had the camera angle ready to go, like it was stone cold, ready to enter the ring. Right, like, like or like when a guy is about to be put to sleep, and the crowd starts cheering, and he does the hand. Right, the hand, all of a sudden he gets a straight breath, <laughs> and then that hand all of a sudden has the, the strength of a thousand men, and then he puts it on it. Like, yeah, it, it was theatrical. Jason like, Tatum saw what Marcus Martin is. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm sticking hey, up the joint. I'm going to do But that. I'm going to tell you like this. I literally thought when, when they showed the replay that his ankle was going to be under his arm. Loose, like, he was just going to carry it dude. off the court. But then when he came back, I'm like. You fell for it. That like, was too that was much. Du- that was too much yelling. Yeah, you were doing To only were come duped. back 10 minutes later and make a three. Jimmy Butler. Not, on, not only did you come back and try it out, but your first shot is a jump shot on that same ankle. 
I saw a great uh I, I saw a great tweet from Dave Williamson, a comedian from down here in South Florida, and he goes, uh Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum. But <laughs> it's like uh, he, uh they Celtics prevail after they sustain death. Like like right. it's, it's like it's, it's really what it felt hey, like. Hey. It, it's like and it's funny because when the heat player gets hurt, like PJ Tucker, he rolled both ankles on one play and he put the hand up. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Kyle nope. Lowry. It's like Kyle Lowry comes back. They're like, "Oh yeah, Kyle Lowry's on this team." Back to right. you. Yeah, like it did. It, it just you know. But but here's the thing. Severe looking. Are you effing kidding me? Here, here's the thing. It's few. It's few because I'm more than sure there's guys on that team that feel exactly like you, like. They have three championships in the same amount of time. What is this? I'm trying to get the, the uh suffer severe looking knee injury. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. First of all, it wasn't wait, even wait, a knee injury. Wait, wait, wait. When have you ever seen <laughs> Never! a caption on in any sport? They don't even look, they don't even put that up in soccer. The right. most theatrical sport there is. And they keep the clock moving. You get hurt. They come drag your butt off the field or Bro, while, I, while they still playing. And then how about at halftime when Tatum hits that three and they're like, oh, brings it to within 15. You would have thought it tied the game, oh, like the way they were talking at they halftime. They play Peppers. That's how exciting no. oh, Intangible. Oh, wait, and then halftime. That's just bad that you can't let them back in the game. They're still up 15. Right. Like end of the third. I was like, all that, all that noise, and you guys are still down 15. Now listen, was I was I oh, was I scared to death hey, in that fourth quarter? Oh hey, yes. Dude, oh yes. Dude, I started li- listen. I and, and here's the thing. I never really got nervous playing in those pressure cookers. Mm-hmm. But if I'm rooting for my team or rooting for a team that I'm, I have an interest in, right? I get 10 times nervous than if I play because I have no control over it. Mm-hmm. I started trying to drink out of an empty can. What? Yes. Like I was like, oh my God, dude. Look at it. This five points, six points. This is what happened. Damn. I'm out. <laughs> well, look, man. But, tonight's a bit. Hold, hold on. What? What? There ain't no way in hell. What? No way in hell you drank six golden monkeys. I did though. No, you didn't. No, you okay. didn't. dude. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My Twitter was blowing up yep. with folks saying, I went and got me some. I got to two. I'm gonna try to get through three. And you say you sipped on a six pack? No way. All right, dude. I don't know. Didn't what to tell even you. feel it. I didn't say that. I didn't say I didn't feel it. I said I was loose as a goose. I had a good time. But like so, to, to so, say. So does that mean that if I was with you, you do shadow box? Probably. We probably would have been having a good time. <laughs> but does that mean I'm passed out on the floor? No. no I kept powering no, through. No, no, I'm not saying you'd be passed out on the floor. But I'm saying you make it sound like you were sipping on Sprites. Yeah, it was, you, you overrated it a little bit. I got to say. What? Yeah, I got to say. Yeah. The, the, t- the myth of the golden monkey was a bit overblown. What? Just saying. Marcos, I don't buy it, dude. Lying. Oh, nah, he's lying. He 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 he's three lying. at most. No. Nah. Three at most. No. Nah. Dude, every, every message I got mm-hmm. with people sending me pictures of golden monkey, right? Every picture I got, it all came with the caption, I made it through two. That third one was tough. Or I had to make a, oh, somebody said, after two, I had to make a business decision. (laughs) What are you talking? And you're like, nope, I'm through my fifth one. I mean, maybe maybe it was because I was out and it was 100 degrees yesterday. And so I'm in the blistering sun sweating it out. I don't know. But it was, no, it was great. It was a great poolside snack. Uh, Oh, my. (laughs) Wait a minute. Hey, why is he making a, 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 a bite by Viper? Sound like he got bit by a mosquito. That's what you're no. doing. Eh. We'll take a quick break. Wait, we'll, look, uh, me and Marco shaking our head. We uh, don't you're embarrassed. believe. You are lying to your boys. Don't nope. lie. 
Nope. You ain't got to lie, Craig. I'm not lying, dude. Yeah. I'm not I'm lying. Pulling a Marcus Smart, dude. I can see it from yes, my I'm not pulling a Marcus Smart. Yeah. I'm not. Nope. This is a Jimmy Butler all the way. Legit. Pulled by Deuce says, got to live stream the game. Dude, I can't live stream me during a heat, especially like a road heat game when I'm not boots on the ground. I was I, I was embarrassing with my performance on the couches. I, I was like into everything. I'm jumping up and down. It feels good though. I like I miss that. I, I like because the thing is when you're when your boots on the ground and I'm not a fan with good access, you know, as you guys claim. Really? I I'm a fan really, with good wait, access. On I'm Thursday, access. wait, on Thursday I went to the game and I made it a point to go holla at everybody. Right? And so I wouldn't say, what's up, Tobes? You know, whatever. I wouldn't say hi to Jax, Tommy Ty. Got everybody. I'm telling you, you had a couple of, you tried to undercover fist pump. I, 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 nah. I, I, I didn't even start yet when you got there. I know. I was trying to get there early. I got there too early. Yeah. Don't come back. It didn't back, take though, as like... long to get down there as I thought. Yeah, well, don't come back because it was the worst game in the I know, I know. I can't say after the, after we left, I said, you know, I can't come back. But I was, uh, oh, dude, I was, I, I was like jumping off the couch, and, and you know when it gets real bit when it, when when business really picks up, I go behind the couch. You know, that's when I know I'm like I lean on it position. like this. I'm like Spo. Yep, I'm yeah. like Spo. I'm just like looking. Yeah, I love. You see, we got a little national TV walking on Jalen Brown. <laughs> Come on, he's walking all over the place. Hey, nobody show. Nobody does travel more aggressively than Spo. Uh, oh. Rysum says, "Wait, you guys sit down watching Heat games? I, I was on edge of the seat. Like, I can't stay, and then I pop up, and then, those there's segments. Rysum, I can't be up the whole game. Here's the problem: I start off the game with a lot of enthusiasm, right? Yep. And if the game is intense. I'll just sit in the jacuzzi and, you know, drink, a, have a couple of drinks or not even drinks, just some Gatorade, right? Yep. If the game is good for too long, I literally, I think sometimes I dehydrate. Right. Because, you know, I'm like, oh, no, because you wait for a, a lull in the game or a break. And when your team has a big lead, there's never a lull. Because you're thinking, if I get up, and go put regular clothes on and sit in front of my TV. When I look at the score, it's going to be close. So I can't do it. It was, uh, no, like it was, it was one of those games where like, you're just, you're praying and hoping you can is, hold on. Cause you know what situation being is. Negative? Uh, no. Cause you, like, it's a couple of things. Like one, you know, that team's going to make a run. They, they like Boston, Boston is going to make a run. That place is going to get hyped, but I just like, they just never, like it was just, it just felt like the Heat just always had a kinda counter like, punch. Kind of like when enough. the Heat got down to seventeen the other night, and everybody started getting excited. Yes, but you want to know something? The difference with that was that was all Jimmy, and it felt like it felt like when they got down to seventeen. Remember they tried to bring in Duncan Robinson, and mm -hmm. it was like, all right, let's see, let, let's. It's kind of that was like me coaching. It's like, ah, let's see if this works. Dunks, get out there, and Duncan can't hit a three to save his life anymore. So. That wasn't going to work. And so the, the difference with this was it was like all bam in the first half. And then second half, it was literally like everybody. Every It felt like everybody had a big play. Victor Oladipo, right. he was picking the pocket of everybody. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Dude only scored like eight points, but he was a monster. his impact was unbelievable. No, he was a monster. I yeah, mean, he was swiper, no swiping. He was jacking everybody. He was. Whoa, uh, let me get was, that, Craig. Let me get yeah, that. Dude, he uh he like if you if you want to go to Home Depot like like Marcos has there, you you, you go to aisle four you get the clamps that's what <laughs> yeah. you get. Hey, it, but but you know what and and the thing is is that when Dunks is in the game or when Heroes in the game, they go after him. Stu's yeah. is a little more formidable, but I'm sensing a trend there. Whereas the second they get onto the floor, oh, you want to you want to bring in your three point shooters? We got some for them on the other end. I tell you what, though, Shrew's getting his Danny Green on with these breaking up the fast breaks. He's good at that. Oh yeah, he's well, good at that. First of all, he got he got more hops than I thought, Dangerous. and it's not a it's not a it's not an intangible thing. Yeah. It's just that when you see a guy who mostly plays on the perimeter. Right. Right. When you see that explosiveness and dunk, you're like, oh, catch you off guard. 
It's like Ray I, Allen. Ray Allen wasn't always a three point shooter. It was one I of these mean, things. He was though. the guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was one of these things, though, like after the game when they said Tyler Hero had a groin injury, I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Because I know Tyler Hero, it was it was pretty wild because after game two, I was looking at his three-point stats, and he was like shooting 25% so far from three in the postseason, right. which is pretty nutty. But, but he you still just, hits that baseline going into the end over the corner of the – he hits that thing regularly. Yeah, but like you have to think <laughs> – you, you have to think that – Something was up with him because he just doesn't look smooth. He doesn't out there. look I, smooth, right? Like he he looked he just looked uncomfortable. He looks like so, he has to try really hard to get things that came natural to him. Right, and I'm not. I'm like I'm like even even the fun, even the things where like he's not getting trapped or they're not double teaming or they're not being physical with him. He looked a little messed up. So him having a groin injury does actually make a lot of sense. That uh that that's something. Groin has injuries up there. are the worst because they attach to a whole lot of other stuff. Oof. You know what uh, I mean? Like you, the insert up in your hip and down your leg. So you don't know where it is, but there's a lot of movements that affect it um, well, they don't, when, you, when you're playing basketball. Well, uh, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. He's on the injury report today. He's questionable, and uh, so is Jimmy. Jimmy, apparently the knee inflammation is not severe, so the uh, the idea is he's going to give it a go. Uh, that's the belief, but we'll see. Um, right. This is the – he did have something going on here during the Hawks series. He had that knee irritation, 